great for snail feeders. Personally for myself on Rutland, I've had some good days on it. One being the Davy Hodgson Memorial. Uh, I'm busy tying these for a, an order, so I thought I'd show you the, the pattern itself. This one is on a B160 on a 10, but the ones I'm tying for an order are on a 2 or a Hanak 270BL. These are a 12. Straight in with your black UTC. Three quarters of the way down the body. Cut that off. The body is FNF jelly and blackjack. Well, whether it's any use to you. Rather than taking the whole fritz out of the packet, what I've done is I've cut a little slit in the side. That way it's not dropping around your knees or wrapping around everything. It's a little bit easier. There are certain types of fritzes, it keeps all the, the waste out the way. So, take a few fibres off that coat. I'll just pull the length out one more time. Just pinch it, loop that on. Tighten all that down. It's probably a bit long, so I'll take that away. And just so you don't knock it and undo all your hard work. A couple of whip in there. Now, the FNF jelly is great. Most of it lies on one side, awesome to tie with. Nice and soft. So, first turn, stroke that back. Just making sure you're not trapping any fibres. Two turns. Three, four, five. Come up with two or three mil behind the eye. Try and show you this without getting on the way of the camera. Cut some of that off. Get your fridge to one side. Take away the fridge fibers. Pinch and loop that on. Pull everything back. Again, come in with your whip. Put that away. Come in with your fluorescent fire orange. Couple of turns and slides all off. Great for the camera. And what you're doing with the thread is building a nice hot spot underneath. Just stands out when it's fishing. Trim away the tag. Now what I've got for the eyes is quite fiddly to make. Especially when you're ham fisted like me. These are four mil, three and a half, four mil, if you can quite see that. Yellow plasters up. Cutting shape on the video that I'll put the link on to in the description. And for those watching on your laptop or iPads, the link will pop up in the top corner. So take your thread, wrap through the middle. It's not quite in the middle. Hopefully, you can see that just under the fly there. Stroke all the fibres back, keep building that hot spot up, and bring your eyes over on the top. Bring your thread through the middle, just tighten that down, straight in with your whip finish, just make it a bit crowded. And if you found slid forward towards the eye. Don't pull everything tight yet, just come in with your thumbnail. Just give it a pull, everything goes tight. Come in, trim that away. Make sure that's sat how you want. As you can see, a very noticeable hot spot on a dull pattern. 
I'll just spin the fly through 180. Just coming with here. Resin. So drop either side of the hot spot to secure your eyes. It's just a normal laser pen that I use for the odd time that I do use resin. You can get these off Peter Driver at Piscari Fly, eBay. Most people will sell them on eBay. Great for setting resin. I secure. Spin that round. There you go. Black biscuit, Sweeney Todd booby, or just a black Fritz blob booby, whatever you want to call it. Thanks for watching. See you later.